Hello everybody, welcome back to our lesson in Eng10. We are still discussing the applications of linear equation in one variable. For this video, we are going to talk about work problem. Okay, so a work problem is one in which a specific job is done in certain length of time when a uniform rate of work is assumed. Our assumption is that if a job can be done in t units of time, then 1 over t of the job is done in 1 unit of time. For instance, if it takes a man 10 hours to paint a room, then his rate of work is 1 over 10 of the room per hour. So to solve a work problem, we multiply the rate of work by the time to obtain a fractional part of the work completed. That's rate times time is equal to the work done. Okay, let us take a look at this problem. One painter can paint a room in 12 hours and another can paint the same room in 10 hours. How long will it take to paint the room if they work together? Okay, so uh, let us take a look at the rate of each painter. So one painter can paint a room in 12 hours, right? Therefore, the rate of the first painter is 1 over 12. <laughs> this is the rate of the first rate of the first painter. Okay? Because he can complete uh, the uh, room. Okay? I mean, he can paint the whole room in 12 hours. Okay, for the next painter, he can complete the room. He complete to com to paint the room in ten hours, so the rate is one over ten. It is the rate of the second painter. Now, if they work together, their total rate is the sum of these two. Okay, so if they work together their rate together is 1 over 12 plus 1 over 10. Okay, this is their rate together. If they work together, then that's their rate. 1 over 12 plus 1 over 10 per hour. Okay, now the question is how long will it take to paint the room if they work together? Okay, so based from our formula, Rate is uh, rate times time is equal to the work done. This is a fractional uh, fractional part, okay, of the total work. Okay, so the rate since they are working together, the rate is one over twelve plus one over ten times the time. This is the unknown, so that's t. Okay, the time t they work together is equal to they complete okay they, they they have completed the room they have painted the whole room because when the work done is 100 percent okay uh the fractional part is one okay that's 100 percent so the work done is one and then we have to solve 14 in this case uh 1 over 12 plus 1 over 10 is uh, 11 over 60 so that's 11 over 60 times t is equal to 1 okay, we need to multiply this by 60 over 11 so 60 over 11 cancel 60 over 11 times 1 is 60 over 11 60 over 11 is uh, approximately 5 and 5 over 11 hours okay so time is 5 and 5 over 11 hours so 5 over 11 of uh, 60 is 27.27 uh, .27. so this is approximately okay this is approximately 5 hours and 27 minutes okay Okay, so if they work together, the rate of working together is just the sum of their rates. Okay, that's the uh, lesson here. Okay, so that's how you solve 
a work problem. Okay, so another type of work problem uh, is the involvement of what we call man hours. Okay, so a man hour is the labor done by one worker over the period of an hour. So if one person works for three hours, this is three man hours. If one person works for one hour and another works for two hours, this is also three man hours. So if both works for three hours, then this is six man hours. So we just multiply the number of workers by the number of hours work. Okay, so we can find the total man hours devoted to a particular task. When using man hours, we have to assume that every worker's productivity is pretty much the same. That is, contrary to the previous examples, we have to assume that the inputs are interchangeable. So for instance, rather than having one person complete a job in two hours, while another takes five hours, we have to assume that one person on the job site can complete the job in two hours. Okay, so our formula for this, prob for this particular lesson is number of men working times the number of hours of work is equal to the total number of man hours. Let us take a look at this problem. It is known that a particular project can be completed by nine employees working eight hours a day for 25 days. To speed uh, completion of the project in a particular town, the supervisor is being provided with 12 workers and is being asked to complete the project in 15 days. How many hours a day must the employee work each day in order to finish on time? Okay, let us take a look at the first statement. It is known that a particular project can be completed by nine employees working eight hours a day for 25 days. So how many man hours is that? We have nine employees, a total man hours to complete the job. Total man hours to complete the job. Okay, so we have nine employees times eight hours for 25 days. Okay, so th the total number of hours is eight times 25, right? So that's 200 hours. We multiply it by nine employees, so that's 1,800, that's nine employees or nine men, that is nine men times eight hours times 25, that's a total of 200 hours. Okay, therefore, that's 1,800 men hours. Okay, so ngayon, uh, for the next scenario, uh, we are given uh, a job to complete. We have 12 workers, okay? So, given 12 men, tama? 12 men. Uh, ang, ang plural pala is M-E-N. So, gawin natin M-E-N. So, 12 men. Tapos, uh, it is required na the job should be completed in 15 days. Okay? 15 days. 15 days. So, ang tanong, how many hours a day must each employee work to finish the job on time. Okay, so equate lang natin. The total number of man hours required is 1,800 man hours. So 12 men times 5 days. Ang unknown natin ay X. X is the number of hours per day. Okay, so the number of hours work per day. So 5 days times X. Okay, times x. 
So per day, X per day. So that's equal to the required. That's 1,800 man hours. Okay, so man hours na din yung unit natin on the left side of the equation. That's 12 times 5 is 60. So we have 60X is equal to 1,800. We solve for X by dividing both sides with 60. So 1,800 divided by 60 is... I, this should be 15 days, right? 15 days. So, uh, this is uh, 12 times 15. 180. So, 180 X. So, we divide both sides by 180. That's 10. So, the, uh, the worker should work 10 hours per day. Okay, so the worker should work 10 hours per day to uh, complete the job because the total uh, man hours required is 1,800. And to come up with 1,800 man hours, the 12 men should work 15 days for 10 hours per day. Okay, so that's it for the work problem.